Wow. Whew. Mm, thought I cried enough this morning when I was driving back to get my shoes. <sighs> mm. All right, we reading these letters? Yeah. Okay. All right. Trade you. You want to go first? Sure. Okay. Can I hold that hand? Yeah. Yes, they dated nine years ago. I was all aboard the Team David train. I sent countless, don't worry, I swear she likes you too, texts. Even a garden of roses delivered on Valentine's Day couldn't sway her affection, and they parted ways. Adrian, first off, words cannot express how excited I am to not just marry you here in the next half hour, but to spend the rest of my life with you. If someone would have told me eight years ago that we'd be sitting here today, I would have hoped for it, but not believed that would have ever happened. Oh, gosh. It's going to be worse when I see you. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Your dad said something yesterday. Well, he said a lot of things yesterday, right? One thing, I don't need to repeat them all. <laughs> One thing in particular, uh, when, when we were eating dinner and he was, uh, before he prayed, he said, the only thing better than family uh, is more family. You're on a trajectory of what the Bible calls unity, like where you come together and not uniformity. Unity is not you agree on every single thing. Unity is not, I see everything the same way as someone else. Unity says this, I'm going to honor you and I'm gonna honor you no matter what. There was a current theme that kept kind of rising to the top of my, uh, my head and that was just the thought of God's perfect timing with these two. The timing out of it as well, the Bible says that God brought Eve to Adam and I think that's a, a critical part of this story. Time went by and little notions of David Whitaker lingered on. I liked to remind Adrian of the one she let get away. It didn't take God long to orchestrate people and phone calls that led to the official first date. David, I cannot believe the day is finally here. If someone asked me how I knew God existed, I would think back on our story. He has been orchestrating the entire thing with the most amazing details and turned our love story into my absolute favorite. You're the most amazing man I've ever met. Each day we are together, I am reminded of a trait quality that I prayed for in my future spouse. And I am so excited to say I do and call you my husband. I love you with all that I am. Love, Adrian. Until death do you part. If so, say I do. I do. I do. Adrian, let me tell you what I see in you. First and foremost, a woman who loves Jesus. Intelligent and driven, which is evident in your role within your second generation family business. Kind and generous with the way that you treat our family. And quite frankly, incredible taste in men, which is well evident in this devastatingly handsome David Whitaker sitting next to you. I see your love for my brother a love that is new and fresh, but also a love that you prayed for, for the man that God would bring into your life and when he did, it would happen quickly. And as a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce that they are now husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. You continually radiate kindness to all you meet, and I'm so very thankful for how you treat my best friend. 
It's evident your parents raised a good man, a man deserving of our Adrian. We've taken care of her for a long time, and we know what great hands she's in now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh no. How you doing? I'm great. <laughs> okay, you can't do that. Yeah, I know, trust me. <laughs> I'm trying. So here we are. I thank God every day for allowing our paths to cross again and for how he has orchestrated the love that we now share. I know there may be some ups and downs in the future, but I have no doubt we will get through them together. I promise to continuously strive to keep God at the center of our relationship, to honor and love you, and to be your biggest supporter. Everyone can raise your glass. And cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Whitaker. Adrian and David, may the Lord bless and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he turn towards you and bring you peace. As you guys place him at the center of your relationship, may your love grow for him each year and may your love grow for each other each year. May his favor shower down on you and your family and may your impact for his kingdom be great. Amen.